bata. Nandito na naman kayo ngayon sa Re Learnings. Ngayong araw, may bagong aralin na naman tayong pag-aaralan. Halina, buksan ang isipan tungo sa bagong kaalaman. Proper use and handling of materials. Number one, immediately wipe spilled liquid, especially when it is on the floor. Why do you have to do that, children? Very good, because it can lead to accident when someone step on it. Number two, do not play with pointed and sharp objects like scissors, knives, and forks. Because when you mishandle them, it may lead to accident. You might cut your skin. Number three, do not play with matches. Remember that flammable materials can cause fire. Number four, do not take in medicine that is not prescribed by a doctor or given by a trusted adult. Children, always remember this because this could lead to your disease getting worse, hospitalization, or even death. Do not inhale or taste substances such as insecticides, kerosene, alcohol, and other unknown substances. Do you know that each year, thousands of people, most of them are children, less than five years of age, are the most common victims. They become injured or ill due to the effects of an unintentional harmful substance exposure. These may occur by direct skin contact, inhalation, absorption, or ingestion of the substance into the body. When buying to grocery stores, always check the expiration date of canned goods and other products. Spoiled or expired foods can cause poisoning. Avoid spraying insecticides by yourself. Let an adult do it and stay out of the room that has been sprayed with insecticides. They are toxic and if used carelessly, they may affect the health of the user, their family, pets, or the environment. Wash your hands thoroughly with water and soap when you have used or touched a harmful substance. Do you wash your hands thoroughly, children? Papa! Very good! This will avoid skin irritation or poisoning when you eat your food. What if you see a new substance in your house? Do you taste, smell, or play with no it? Teacher. Very good! You should not play with a known substance. You don't know their contents, and they might harm your skin, cause dizziness, or they might be poisonous. Number 10. Always read labels before handling any unknown material. You should familiarize yourself with the standard pictograms and hazards. You should know its purpose and how will you use the material that you will purchase. Now, let's see if you learned something from our lesson. Let us have a short activity. Are you ready, children? Papa! Very good! I want you to get your notebook and pencil. Write true or false. If the statement is correct, write true. If it is incorrect, write false. For number one, 
let spilled liquid stays on the floor. I repeat, let spilled liquid stays on the floor. Number two, do not check the expiration date of canned goods and other products. Do not check the expiration date of canned goods and other products. Number three, play with matches or other flammable materials. Play with matches or other flammable materials. Number four, do not play with a known substance. Do not play with a known substance. Number five, always read labels before handling any unknown material. Always read labels before handling any unknown material. Number six, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Number seven, drink medicines not prescribed by a doctor. Drink medicines not prescribed by a doctor. Number eight, smell or taste and note substances to verify their contents. Smell or taste and note substances to verify their contents. Number nine, do not play with your scissors or other pointed objects. Do not play with your scissors or other pointed objects. Number 10. Stay out of the room that has been sprayed with insecticides. Stay out of the room that has been sprayed with insecticides. Well, let us check your answers. Number 1. The answer is false. Number 2. False. Number 3. False. Number 4. True. Number 5. True. For number 6, the answer is true. Number 7. False. Number 8. False. Number 9. True. And for number 10, the answer is true. What is your score, children? Very good. Kaya naman, huwag kakalimutang tumutok sa re-learning para sa mga susunod pang aralin na ating tatalakayin. Tandaan, buksan ng isipan, tungo sa bagong kaalaman. Paalam! Hanggang sa muli!